the 13 most anti-inflammatory foods you can eat. Inflammation can be both good and bad. On one hand, it helps your body defend itself from infection and injury. On the other hand, chronic inflammation can lead to weight gain and disease. Stress, inflammatory foods, and low activity levels can make this risk even greater. However, studies demonstrate that some foods can fight inflammation. What are signs that inflammation is affecting me? It's always best to speak to the doctor when you are not feeling well. They'll be able to determine exactly whether your health issues are related to inflammation. Possible signs are Headaches Fatigue Constipation Bloating and gas Weight gain or inability to lose weight Memory loss Joint pain Can inflammation make you gain weight? When you don't eat well and carry extra pounds, the resulting inflammation increases your body's sensitivity. Your body begins to respond by developing more inflammation. Stress, environmental toxins, and a poor diet all lead to inflammation and excess belly fat. Vitamin and nutritional deficiencies are also culprits of inflammation. What results because of these factors? More inflammation and weight gain or an inability to lose weight. When you stop eating foods that cause inflammation and implement healthy changes, including exercise, the weight will come off. Here are 13 anti-inflammatory foods. 1. Berries Berries are small fruits that are packed with fiber, vitamins, and minerals. Although dozens of varieties exist, some of the most common include Strawberries Blueberries Raspberries blackberries. Berries contain antioxidants called anthocyanins. These compounds have anti-inflammatory effects that may reduce your risk of disease. Your body produces natural killer cells, NK cells, which help keep your immune system functioning properly. In one study in men, those who consumed blueberries every day produced significantly more NK cells than those who did not. In another study, adults with excess weight who ate strawberries had lower levels of certain inflammatory markers associated with heart disease. 2. Fatty Fish Fatty fish are a great source of protein and the long-chain omega-3 fatty acids EPA and DHA. Although all types of fish contain some omega-3 fatty acids, these fatty fish are among the best sources. Salmon Sardines Herring mackerel, anchovies. EPA and DHA reduce inflammation that can lead to metabolic syndrome, heart disease, diabetes, and kidney disease. Your body metabolizes these fatty acids into compounds called resolvins and protectins, which have anti-inflammatory effects. Studies have found that people consuming some or EPA and DHA supplements experienced reductions in the inflammatory marker C-reactive protein, CRP. However, in another study, people with an irregular heartbeat who took EPA and DHA daily experienced no difference in inflammatory markers, compared with those who received a placebo. 3. Broccoli Broccoli is extremely nutritious. It's a cruciferous vegetable, along with cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and kale. Research has shown that eating a lot of cruciferous vegetables is associated with a decreased risk of heart disease and cancer. This may be related to the anti-inflammatory effects of the antioxidants they contain. Broccoli is rich in sulforaphane, an antioxidant that fights inflammation by reducing your levels of cytokines and NFKB, which drive inflammation. 4. Avocados Avocados may be one of the few supposed superfoods worthy of the title. They are packed with potassium, magnesium, fiber, and heart-healthy monounsaturated fats. They also contain carotenoids and tocopherols, which are linked to reduced cancer risk. In addition, one compound in avocados may reduce inflammation in young skin cells. In one study, when people consumed a slice of avocado with a hamburger, they had lower levels of the inflammatory markers and FKB and IL-6, compared with participants who ate the hamburger alone. 5. 
Green Tea You've probably heard that green tea is one of the healthiest beverages you can drink. It reduces your risk of heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's disease, obesity, and other conditions. Many of its benefits are due to its antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, especially a substance called epigallocatechin 3 galate EGCG. EGCG inhibits inflammation by reducing pro-inflammatory cytokine production and damage to the fatty acids in your cells. 6. Peppers Bell peppers and chili peppers are loaded with vitamin C and antioxidants that have powerful anti-inflammatory effects. Bell peppers provide the antioxidant quitin, which may reduce one marker of oxidative damage in people with sarcoidosis, an inflammatory disease. Chili peppers contain synapic acid and ferulic acid, which may reduce inflammation and lead to healthier aging. 7. Mushrooms While thousands of varieties of mushrooms exist worldwide, only a few are edible and grown commercially. These include truffles, portobello mushrooms, and shiitake. Mushrooms are very low in calories and rich in selenium, copper, and all of the B vitamins. They also contain phenols and other antioxidants that provide anti-inflammatory protection. A special type of mushroom called lion's mane may potentially reduce low-grade, obesity-related inflammation. However, one study found that cooking mushrooms lowered their anti-inflammatory compounds significantly. Thus, it may be best to eat them raw or lightly cooked. 8. Grapes Grapes contain anthocyanins, which reduce inflammation. In addition, they may decrease the risk of several diseases, including heart disease, diabetes, obesity, Alzheimer's, and eye disorders. Grapes are also one of the best sources of resveratrol, another compound that has many health benefits. In one study, people with heart disease who consumed grape extract daily experienced a decrease in inflammatory gene markers, including NFKB. What's more, their levels of adiponectin increased. Low levels of this hormone are associated with weight gain and an increased risk of cancer. 9. Turmeric Turmeric is a spice with a strong, earthy flavor that's often used in curries and other Indian dishes. It has received a lot of attention for its content of curcumin, a powerful anti-inflammatory nutrient. Turmeric reduces inflammation related to arthritis, diabetes, and other diseases. In fact, consuming 1 gram of curcumin daily combined with piperine from black pepper caused a significant decrease in the inflammatory marker CRP in people with metabolic syndrome. However, it may be hard to get enough curcumin to experience a noticeable effect from turmeric alone. In one study, women with excess weight who took 2.8 grams of turmeric per day showed no improvement in inflammatory markers. Taking supplements containing isolated curcumin is much more effective. Curcumin supplements are often combined with piperine, which can boost curcumin absorption by 2000%. Then, Extra virgin olive oil Extra virgin olive oil is one of the healthiest fats you can eat. It's rich in monounsaturated fats and a staple in the Mediterranean diet, which provides numerous health benefits. Studies link extra virgin olive oil to a reduced risk of heart disease, brain cancer, and other serious health conditions. In one study on the Mediterranean diet, CRP and several other inflammatory markers significantly decreased in those who consumed 1.7 ounces 50 milliliters, of olive oil daily. The effect of oleocanthal, an antioxidant found in olive oil, has been compared to anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen. Keep in mind that extra virgin olive oil offers greater anti-inflammatory benefits than those provided by more refined olive oils. 11. Dark Chocolate and Cocoa Dark chocolate is delicious, rich, and satisfying. It's also packed with antioxidants that reduce inflammation. These may reduce your risk of disease and lead to healthier aging. Flavanols are responsible for chocolate's anti-inflammatory effects and keep the endothelial cells that line your arteries healthy. 
In one study, smokers experienced significant improvements in endothelial function within two hours of eating high flavor on all chocolate. However, make sure to choose dark chocolate that contains at least 70% cocoa, a greater percentage is even better, to reap these anti-inflammatory benefits. 12. Tomatoes. The tomato is a nutritional powerhouse. Tomatoes are high in vitamin C, potassium, and lycopene, an antioxidant with impressive anti-inflammatory properties. Lycopene may be particularly beneficial for reducing pro-inflammatory compounds related to several types of cancer. One study determined that drinking tomato juice significantly decreased inflammatory markers in women with excess weight, but not those with obesity. Note that cooking tomatoes in olive oil can maximize the amount of lycopene you absorb. 13. Cherries Cherries are delicious and rich in antioxidants, such as anthocyanins and catechins, which fight inflammation. Although the health-promoting properties of tart cherries have been studied more than other varieties, sweet cherries also provide benefits. In one study, when people consume 280 grams of cherries per day for one month, their levels of the inflammatory marker CRP decreased and stayed low for 28 days after they stopped eating cherries. Inflammatory Foods In addition to filling your diet with nutritious anti-inflammatory ingredients, it's important to limit your consumption of foods that can promote inflammation. For example, processed foods like fast food, frozen meals, and processed meats have been associated with higher levels of inflammatory markers like CRP. Meanwhile, fried foods and partially hydrogenated oils contain trans fats, a type of unsaturated fatty acid that has also been linked to increased levels of inflammation. Other foods like sugar-sweetened beverages and refined carbs have likewise been shown to promote inflammation. Here are some examples of foods that have been linked to increased levels of inflammation. Junk foods, fast food, convenience meals, potato chips, pretzels, refined carbohydrates, white bread, pasta, white rice, crackers, flour tortillas, biscuits, fried foods, french fries, donuts, fried chicken, mozzarella sticks, egg rolls, sugar-sweetened beverages, soda, sweet tea, energy drinks, sports drinks, processed meats, bacon, beef jerky, canned meat, salami, hot dogs, smoked meat, trans fats, shortening, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, margarine. How can I get rid of inflammation in the body? Ridding the body of inflammation goes a long way. Changing your diet can even reverse inflammation. Remember, Doing so can help reduce disease risk. Eat plenty of anti-inflammatory foods. Cut back or eliminate processed foods, fried foods, and margarine. Limit carbs like white flour and refined sugar. Exercise regularly. Try intermittent fasting, which helps reset your metabolism. Try to manage your stress better through methods like meditation or yoga. Get plenty of quality sleep. Get fresh air and 10 minutes of sun per day to increase your vitamin D. Reduce your exposure to toxins. Even low levels of inflammation on a chronic basis can lead to disease. Do your best to keep inflammation in check by choosing a wide variety of delicious, antioxidant-rich foods. Peppers, dark chocolate, fish, and extra virgin olive oil are just a few foods that can help you combat inflammation and reduce your risk of illness.